This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com and GatheringMagic.com, your place to explore the game. Hi, I'm Ryan. We're here in Denver, Colorado, and this is my Karlov EDH deck. So here's Karlov. He's the new general from the new commander set. Uh, he's kind of a Voltron commander, and you want to build him around life gain, because it says here um, he's one white, one black. Whenever you gain life, put two plus one plus one counters on Karlov, and pay one white, one black, remove six plus one plus one counters, exile a target creature. All right, so start with the mana base. We've got some swamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen swamps. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine planes. Alright, and on to the non-basics. Uh, we want to be gaining as life as much as possible, so Seraph Sanctuary. When it comes out, you gain a life, get Karlov bigger. Uh, Shambling Vent can turn into a creature with lifelink. Isolated Chapels, just a good dual land. Mortuary Mire is a new one I'm trying out. When it comes out, you can put target creature from your graveyard on top of your library. So if people are killing Karlov a lot, just let him go to the graveyard if you have this in your hand. There's another life gain land, Kabira Crossroads, you gain two life. Uh, Temple of Silence, get a scry. Scoured Barrens comes out, you gain a life. Rogue's Passage, good utility land for Karloff to make him unblockable. Command Tower, of course. Cave of Koilos, white black. Radiant Fountain, you gain two life. Reflecting Pool. And then Lotus Petal to help you get a turn one Karlov. All right, on to my few mana rocks. Pristine Talisman, you can gain a life every turn, make Karlov bigger. Uh, the Key Rune turns into a 1-4 with life link, and he can give you mana. Great for Karlov. Sculpting Steel, uh, copy somebody's Soul Ring most likely, or one of your cool artifacts. Alright, on to just a bunch of life gain enchantments and other stuff. First one is Contemplation. Whenever you successfully cast a spell, gain a life. And then we've got Wall of Reverence, 1 6 Flying Wall. And at the end of your turn, you gain life equal to the power of target creature you control. Probably going to be Karlov. Might gain 10 life at the end of each turn. It's pretty sweet. Johnny's Mantra is perfect. You gain one life every upkeep. Blind Obedience is in here because it has Extort. There's a lot of Extort in here because that's going to gain you life all the time. And it Artifacts and creatures your opponent's control come out tapped, so that's good. Stops some haste people and slows people down a little bit. Then I'm running two staffs, Staff of the Death Magus and Staff of the Sun Magus. Both of them say whenever you cast a spell of that color, you gain a life. Or if you play a plains or a swamp, you gain a life. So you can gain lots of life off of these every turn. Ivory Tower, of course. Uh, during your upkeep, you gain X life, where X is the number of cards over four. And it's a one drop, so pretty sweet. Sun Droplet's a good one, too. Uh, whenever you're dealt damage, you put that many counters on the Sun Droplet. And at the beginning of each player's upkeep, not just yours, you remove a counter and gain a life. So, multiplayer game, maybe six people. Karlov's going to get plus 12, plus 12 by the time it gets back to you. Pretty awesome. Uh, Marble Chalice is just a little 
little cup in here that you can drink from, gain one life every turn. All right, on to some better ways to pump up Karlov. Unspeakable symbol, you pay three life to put a plus one, plus one counter on. Uh, so go ahead and pay all your life if you can get through with Karlov and knock out a player. Pretty good card. And if Karlov has a lifelink or something, you're gonna gain back most of that life. Cradle of Vitality, four drop enchantment. So whenever you gain life, you pay one colorless, one white, and you put plus one, plus one on target creature for each one life you gained. So that is great for Karlov. Zurin Orb costs zero, and I love things that cost zero. Uh, sacrifice the land to gain two life. So if you only got one player left, go ahead and sack all your lands if you can get through. You can make Karlov plus two plus two for each land you have. So you have six lands plus 12 plus 12. Not bad. Uh, this is a new card from Battle of Zendikar. Retreat to Hagra. So whenever you drop a land, target creature gets plus one plus oh and death touch. It's nice to give Karlov death touch, but more often you'll go with the second one, which is each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. So basically extorting from a land drop. This is an old one from Exodus, Peace of Mind. One colorless, one white. You pay one white and discard a card to gain three life. Uh, discarding cards, you know, isn't the greatest, but if you got five cards in your hand and some open mana, you know, you can make Karlov pretty big and swing in for that Alpha Strike. Uh, I'm running Sanguine Bond. Uh, three colorless, two black. You guys know what this does. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Um, you can also run Exquisite Blood in here if you want to be cheap and just kill people, you know, that way. <laughs> but it's pretty good. This is a life gain deck, so it works really good. Uh, another enchantment, Angelic Accord, three colors and a white. At the end of your turn, if you've gained four life that turn, you get to get a 4-4 white angel, little flyer out. You're probably going to be gaining some life, hopefully at least four life. So free angels, use them for blockers, or you just like angels. Here's uh, an enchantment for Karlov. Uh, it's, I think the most expensive card in the deck, I try and keep the curve really low. Three colors, three white, uh, plus three, plus three, so that gives him a pretty good boost right there. And whenever he deals damage to a player, double your life total. So you can get into the triple digits with your life total pretty easily with this card. All right, and then we've got Spirit Loop. It's another aura, it only costs two. Uh, basically, gives him lifelink, um, but if Karlov were to die, um, Spirit Loop goes back to your hand, so reusable, really good for Karlov. Uh, now on for some equipment. Uh, I'm not running the best equipment. Uh, you might want to get some swords or a GTA, but these are some good options as well. Prowler's Helm, uh, you can only be blocked by walls. Uh, like that card a lot. Then we're running Swift Foot Boots. Give them haste and hexproof. Definitely want to have hexproof so that they can't use spot removal on your general. Next one, Aura, is Sun Bond. This one's awesome. So it says, Enchanted Creature has, whenever you gain life, put that many plus one, plus one counters on this creature. Uh, so Karlov's going to get big really fast. This is probably one of the best ones to tutor for, I'd say. And Basilisk Caller is awesome, because it's so cheap. Death Touch and Lifelink, uh, just great abilities for Voltron Commander, especially when you're trying to gain life. Uh, the other footwear package is Lightning Greaves. Everyone knows this. It's the most played card, besides Soul Ring, probably. Uh, Equip is zero. So just a great card, Sh Shroud. Uh, sometimes Shroud can be a problem because then you can't put additional things onto Karlov. 
but hopefully you have another creature if you need to. Move the greaves to a different creature, throw your sun bond on, and then throw the greaves back on. All right, uh, need some card draw in here, and Well of Lost Dreams is an artifact four drop. So whenever you gain life, you can pay X and draw X cards. So that's gonna draw you a lot of cards. This thing is an all-star. And then we also have Greed from Legends. It's an enchantment, three colorless, one black. You pay a black and uh, you pay two life when you do that to draw a card, but you have so much life, so just use as much black man as you can to draw cards. Um, I'd recommend Phyrexian Arena as well. Didn't have room in here for that, it's in another deck, but that's a great option. Uh, now it's the removal package. Um, white, black, awesome removal. Uh, I'm running Banishing Light and Oblivion Ring. Same thing. Remove any non-land permanent from the game. It's great for Planeswalkers or, you know, whatever you gotta get rid of. Mortify. Uh, this is full art, but what it says is destroy target artifact or enchantment. And it's an instant. Good card. Then I'm running Swords and Path to Exile. Uh, you know, one mana removal, exile, got to get rid of other commanders. Uh, this is a cool one that I don't really see much. Uh, Recumbent Bliss, two colorless and a white. Uh, it's an aura you put on someone else's creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. And at the beginning of your upkeep you gain a life. So just getting Karlov bigger and bigger. Uh, sometimes after a board wipe, Opponents don't have another creature, and I'll just put this on my own creature just because I really want to be gaining more life. But, um, and it's cool art, it's like a giant fist or something. Uh, and then here's another removal, it's an instant Ray of Disillusion from Theros. Two colorless and a white, destroy target enchantment. There's some enchantments out there that we just gotta get rid of. Humility comes to mind, maybe doubling season or something. But when you destroy the enchantment, you gain three life. So more counters for Karlov. Vindicate is my favorite removal spell. Um, destroy target permanent. So I think this is the only way I can kill a land in my deck. Sometimes Maze of Ith or something like that. Need your get, need to get your Vindicate. Um, then we got Wrath of God and Day of Judgment for board wipes. Uh, destroy all creatures. Let's see. I recommend getting an Utter End as well. That's another Exile. Didn't have room for it. It's in another deck. So, tutor package. Got Diabolic Tutor, get any card. Uh, Enlightened Tutor. Most of the fun stuff in here is enchantments and artifacts. So, Enlightened Tutor is great. Demonic Tutors in here as well, of course. All right, onto my Planeswalkers. I've got a Johnny Goldmane, mostly because of this plus one, you gain two life. Um, the middle ability is plus one, plus one on each creature, and you get Vigilance. Uh, sometimes, you know, you want to give Karlov Vigilance so that he can stay back to block, but don't use that too much. But the ultimate is awesome, because uh, it says, minus six, get a Sarah Avatar, basically. Uh, it's a token, your power and toughness is equal to your life total. So when you ultimate Johnny, you're probably gonna have the biggest creature on the board. And that's usually a win con for me if for some reason Karlov is too expensive to get out or something. He's a great planeswalker. And then I'm running Soren, Lord of Innistrad. Uh, plus one, put a black vampire creature token with lifelink. That's basically why I put it in here, it's because lifelink is great for this deck. But you can also do the middle one for an emblem, and creatures get plus one plus zero. And that's just a good anthem effect, because it's not going to go away, it's an emblem. And you can do it right away. Uh, the ultimate says, destroy up to three target creatures and or planeswalkers and then return each card put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield under your control. So if you can get to the ultimate, that'd be awesome. 
I've never actually done it myself, but it looks like it'd be fun. All right, onto the creature package. Uh, most of these creatures have either extort or lifelink or something like Nyx Fleece Ram here. Every upkeep, you're gonna gain a life, so triggers every turn. I have Mom in here, Mother of Runes. Uh, good to give um, Karlov protection from a certain color so that you can get through and swing with commander damage. Great one drop. Uh, this is a cool card from Future Sight, Miss Meadow Skulk, little Kithkin Rogue. He's just a 1-1. One, one. But he has lifelink, which is why I put him in here. And protection from converted mana cost three or greater, which is awesome. Like, that spells, creatures, whatever. Like, uh, let's see, they can't utter end him. You know, if they have a big creature, if it costs more than three, it can't block it. And, or it can just be a great blocker if they have, if they're attacking you with something big. Really fun card. Uh, whenever. So this basically does what Sanguine Bond does. Um, but the other activated ability is target creature gains lifelink. Uh, and you can do that more than once if you have multiple creatures out. But most likely you're going to give Karlov lifelink. But that extra ability is also awesome. Um, whenever you gain life this turn, each opponent loses that much life. And this is great because it's each opponent. So if you're playing multiplayer, gaining lots of life, you're gonna do a lot of damage with this little wizard. All right, I think this is the beginning of the extort creatures, Crypt Ghast. So extort is whenever you cast a spell, you can pay white or black, and if you do, each opponent loses a life, and you gain that much life. So you're playing a four player game, each player loses three life, you gain three life. So extort is awesome for Karlov. I tried to run a lot of extort. He also has, whenever you tap a swamp, you get an extra black. So it's a little mana doubler for your swamps. Here's some more extort. Basilica Screecher, he's a 1-2 flyer. Another extort, 2-drop, Syndic of Tithes. He's just a 2-2, two -two, but extort. And then another extort, 2-2 two -two flyer, it's Kingpin's Pet. And this is a good extorter because he also has lifelink. Tithe Drinker, 2-1. Then Obsidot, Ghost Council. Mostly in here for flavor, because this is where Karlov hangs out. This is his drinking buddies. Uh, so when he comes out, you gain two life. And at the end of your turn, you can exile him until your next turn. And so you'll just keep gaining two life, and target opponent loses two life. Good card. And then we got a dragon in here, Sunscorch Regent. It's a 4-3 flyer. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Regent and you gain one life. So all that life gain is going to make Karlov big and it's going to make the Regent pretty big too. Um, really good card. And then here's another new one, Drana's Emissary. 2-2 two, two flyer for only three. It's already good. But at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So more incremental life gain. Uh, here's a little guy, white and a black for 1-1, one, one, High Priest of Penance. Uh, whenever he's dealt damage, uh, you may destroy target non-land permanent. So I just leave him in here, attack with him all the time, or use him as a blocker, because if he's going to take any damage, you get to vindicate something. So awesome card. Uh, this is great for life gain. We got Rock's Faith Mender. Uh, three colorless and a white for a 1-5 with lifelink. But the biggest thing in here is if you would gain life, you gain twice that much life. So a life gain doubler, perfect. Uh, Falconrath Noble is in here. 2-2 two -two vampire, flying, three colorless and a black. Whenever another creature dies, target player loses a life and you gain one life. So if people are sacrificing, you know, a bunch of creatures, you know, they're gonna take some damage for it, and you're gonna gain a lot of life. Uh, Vampire Nighthawk, he's just an all-star, death touch and lifelink. 2-3 flyer for three, he's just a great creature. And then I'm running Liliana, the, mostly because it has lifelink and 
couldn't really find another deck for her, but she's cool. If she dies, you get a zombie, and she'll flip into a planeswalker. Um, let's see, next one, Souls of the Faultless. Uh, this guy can't attack, he's a defender, but white and two black, whenever he's dealt combat damage, you gain that much life, an attacking player loses that much life. So if someone's trying to swing at you with a big creature, you're just going to gain that much life and they're going to lose that much life. So he's just a really good defender. And then here's some of my cheap alternate win cons if Karloff's just not getting through. I've got Test of Endurance and Felidar Sovereign, both kind of cheating cards that at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 50, you win the game, or if you have 40, you win the game. And the Sovereign also has Vigilance and Lifelink, so perfect for gaining life, perfect for Karloff. And that's the entire deck. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Please subscribe and favorite.